teach people how to go from invisible to irresistible. Mm -hmm. And the importance of realizing where you are on that ladder and constantly asking myself, okay, I'm just interesting right now. They are talking to me. <clears throat> what can I do to get into even more time to become irresistible? So I'm walking my talk. And sometimes that's future facing somebody. You've heard that concept, I'm sure. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and elaborate for uh, for our listeners. Yeah, so if you did it in the reverse, if I'm talking to my younger self, I do it. Let's imagine we're having a conversation a week after the event. What would have to happen for you to feel really sad and happy that this was the best one ever? Mm. And they start picturing themselves in that. In fact, from a practical standpoint, I've, I've worked with people interviewing uh, for a job, and that's all about telling a story and taking your experience and turning it into a story, and then asking that question when it comes to the end of the interview, when they say, do mm, you have any questions for us? And unfortunately, a lot of young people think, oh, how much vacation time do I get? And when is it started? Yeah. So the new question I get people is, what would it look like if I was to exceed your expectations in this job? I had somebody get hired on the spot because you're not saying you're someone who goes above and beyond. You're having them visualize yourself in a job already, mm. and then having them visualize what it looks like to exceed expectations. And they probably haven't even thought about that, but they just come up with the format of here's what the job requirements are. The fact that you're asking that question shows me and of telling me that you're going to go above and beyond the minimum, and that's what that's what we want. The skills we can teach, we want the mindset of that. So I love that question. That was very ninja. That was awesome. I I, I just I, I love it. <laughs>